Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we do some practice examples on loops. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about the concepts of loops and nested loops. Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python language. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's example, let's the example which we have chosen here. This will help you a lot in giving a good intuition about how nested loops works so that you can easily uh, solve the complex problems which we discuss in our later classes uh, our suggestion is take the example take the question uh, and please try to do it on your own then check for the solution uh, coming to our example the example here is we have to display the numbers from uh, 0 to 999 uh, but the thing we have to do here is uh, we have to display it like this uh, 0 is uh, written in three digit 0 means uh, 0 0 0 that is how we have to display 0 tab space 0 tabs tab space 0 1 will be displayed like this 0 tab space 0 tab space 1 so on 0 tab space 0 tab space 2 so on if you want to display 10 0 tab space 1 tab space 0 10 that is what digit 10 is uh, next 101 if you want to display 101 1 tab space 0 tab space 1 so on that is how we have to display up to 9 tab space 9 tab space 9 so in order to do this uh, the logic here is we will use nested loops concept uh, let's try to understand this nested loops concept how it will work and how we are displaying that uh, numbers for i in the range of 10 uh, so what's the thing we understand from our previous classes uh, if you take this for i in the range of 10 means uh, i will take the values from 0 to 9 uh, 0 1 2 so on up to 9 uh, in that we are having a nested loop for j in range of 10 means how this will execute let's try to understand this for i is equal to 0 j will execute for 10 times j will take the values 0 1 so on up to 9 in that we are having again one more loop so here we are having two level nested loops so how it will get executed for i is equal to 0 j will take the 10 values for j is equal to 0 k will execute for 10 times for j is equal to 1 k execute for 10 times for j is equal to 2 k execute for 10 times for j is equal to 9 k execute for 10 times this repeat for i also for i is equal to 0 j execute for 10 times for i is equal to 1 j execute for 10 times for i is equal to 2 j execute for 10 times for i is equal to 3 j execute for 10 times for i is equal to 9 j execute for 10 times this is how it will execute let's try to understand with uh, with our example see we want to display 0 0 0 so that's why in the kth loop in the nested nested loop we have displayed the answer print i backslash t means it's a tab space comma j we are displaying the j value comma backslash t means tab space comma k so how we are displaying for i j and k value we are displaying here in between we are provided with tab space how it will get executed for i is equal to 0 j execute for 10 times so j is equal to 0 k execute for 10 times for j is equal to 0 k execute for 10 times with 0 1 2 so on up to 9 in the in the inside loop in the inside kth loop we are displaying i j and k i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 k execute k repeat this this loop repeat i value j value is not changing only k value is changing here so g 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 2 0 0 9 this executed for 10 times for j is equal to 1 here j changing i keeps on remaining as 0 j is equal to 1 again k execute for 10 times means 0 1 0 0 1 1 means we are displaying 10 11 12 so on like that this repeat for for j is equal to 2 again k execute for 10 times for j is equal to 9 this execute for 10 times means up to now we have displayed 9 up to 99 0 99 this repeat for i is equal to 1 now we are displaying 100 101 102 so on up to 199 for i is equal to 2 again this repeat this is how nested loops concept will work you, you please 
try to understand this you you work on this because you have to get the intuition about how this example is working this helps you a lot in solving the complex pro programs which we discuss in our pre next classes we use the concept of next loop in many of our applications many of our programs let's check for the solution check the program here how it is executing for i in range of 10 for j in range of 10 for k in range of 10 print i j and k so this is the output 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 2 so on uh, up to we are displaying up to 999 so on it is displaying up to 999 coming to our next example the next example is very similar to this so we have to display the numbers from 0 to 999 the same thing we have to display like zeros tab space 0 tab space 0 but we have to eliminate the numbers that are divisible by 5 so what's the logic we have to use we have to display 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 2 so on but we have to eliminate the numbers that are divisible by 5 so what's the logic here is that we if you want if, if the given number is divisible by 5 means the last digit should be 0 or last digit should be 5 then only it is divisible by 5 what is the last digit here k is showing our last digit so that is the logic we use here the logic here is coming to our next example see here if uh, the same logic for i in range of 10 for j in range of 10 for k in range of 10 if k is equal to 5 the last digit means 100 zero, zero, this is first digit according to this logic 100001 zero, 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 one, this is the first digit this is the last digit so our first digit is showing a k is uh, representing our first digit so if k is equal to 5 or k is equal to 0 the number is divisible by 5 so at that situation in this condition uh, we need we don't need to con we don't need to display the output we have to just continue so what's continue this is discussed in our previous class continue means uh, don't do this loop continue with the next loop that is what continue means if uh, this condition satisfies continue else print i j and k see here the output is 0, 0, 0 is not displayed because it is divisible by 5 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5 is not displayed 6, 7, 8, 10 is not 9, 10 is not displayed that is how we are doing that we are eliminating the numbers that are divisible by 5 so hope you understand the examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you